Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. Today is actually about my most embarrassing cook up. If you are easily disgusted, this video is not for you. Also, I considered hooking up, making out as well, and that's basically what happened. I didn't sleep with this person or anything. But anyways, I think it happened around two years ago, I'm not sure, but it was the 4th of July. So me and this dude, we had been friends since high school. We're gonna call him Jeremy. So Jeremy and I, we had a class together. We had choir class together and we were good friends, you know, and even after high school, we stayed in touch and we were never really seen each other like that because he pointed out from the beginning that he didn't like dark skinned girls. He didn't find them attractive. So I was like, okay, well, he, obviously he doesn't even find me attractive, which, you know, that's just life or whatever. We would hang out, you know, we would go to the movies, we would have coffee, we would walk around, but it was never like that. And then one day he was like, hey, you should come to this 4th of July party with me. He was like, come on, we need to play beer pong, this and that. And I was like, okay. Around this time is when I realized that I had IBS. And if you don't know what IBS is, just Google it. But it's basically something with your bowel movements. You can't really use the restroom when you have anxiety or whatever. And so I was taking this tea. And it's called three ballerina tea and it basically makes you poop like that's just the truth it makes you poop but it takes a few hours for this to set in i wasn't expecting to go anywhere so i ended up taking it in the morning when i woke up i was like i'm good you know i'm not going anywhere out of nowhere my friend jeremy texts me and he's like go to this party so <laughs> i ended up going to this party i wasn't thinking i was gonna get drunk just because i don't like to drink when i'm alone you know because you can never trust people. I mean, of course he was a friend, but just other people there, you can't just trust anybody. But I started drinking and he was like, I'll take care of you, I'll take care of you. So I started drinking and drinking, you know, and I had taken an Uber there. So I was like, you know, I had nothing to worry about. So I'll just Uber back home. And the house that the party was at, it wasn't too far from my house. It was probably like a five minute drive. So I started drinking and drinking and I was drinking Crown and Coke. And then we also started taking shots of Patron, I think. So after a while, I started to feel sick. You know, when you realize you're a little more drunker than you thought. I was much more turned than I initially thought I was going to be and then once I started to realize that the drunkenness because I had drank so much it started to hit me more and I was like oh my god I just need to sit down I told the guy Jeremy I was like hey I need to sit down and he was like yeah go ahead and sit and I just sat there and then he ended up coming over with me and he sat on the couch with me and I just ended up putting my head on him and then I just remember feeling his hand on my hip and I was like what the hell what the hell it was just a little weird considering like you don't even think i'm cute maybe it's just the beer goggles and i just looked at it and then i looked at him and then we started making out yeah it's very disturbing to think about i still have like war flashbacks because of it i mean he's not an ugly guy don't get me wrong he is not ugly at all he's really cute actually he has a cute smile but he's just such a friend that it is so weird to even think that i did this soon after we made out you know we ju just kind of sat there and he was talking to his friend and i was just sitting there drunk as hell like listening to their conversation and i ended up having to run outside because i felt myself about to throw up so i ended up throwing up so much and i had just eaten too prior to going i ended up resuming like going back to the couch that we were both at and we we're just sitting while we're sitting there i start to feel like man i need to throw up I tell jeremy and i'm like hey i need to throw up can you help me to the restroom he's like yeah there was a restroom downstairs but there was also one upstairs so he tried to take me to the one downstairs but there was someone in there and i was like dang it i really need to throw up so he took me upstairs i threw up once and i was like no i don't feel good and I just remember having my head on the toilet, like just throwing up and then stopping and throwing up. And then soon after the first few vomits, I started to feel my stomach kind of do jumps. Like it was like a blender inside my belly. And I was like, oh my God, the tea. And I was like, nope, I can't use the restroom. I can't use the restroom. I mean, he's in here. And even if he wasn't, I don't think I was sober enough to use the restroom right because i was so drunk that i would probably fall over so i was like no i'm not going to use it i'm not going to use it so you know when you hold in your poop you start to fart that's what started to occur i ended up throwing up and while i was throwing up this next time i started to fart no matter how much i held it in i started to fart and at first it was like little but then it became like out of there it was like non-stop i could not hold it in i could not stop it from being so loud it was like 
it was so embarrassing and he wasn't saying anything he was just holding my hair he like so sweet he was holding my hair back and letting me vomit and fart at the same time it was so embarrassing <sighs> oh my god afterwards i ended up getting cleaned up you know and we just laid down on the bed that was upstairs and he didn't say anything he didn't say anything about it at that time we just laid down and we ended up making out a little more which is so gross like i ended up making fun of him afterwards for making out with me after i threw up he ended up telling me i've been wanting to do this for a really long time and i think about that now and i'm like i hope that was the drunkenness talking because that's just weird i ended up staying over that night next to jeremy nothing like that happened i was conscious of that you know i wasn't drunk enough to the point where i didn't i wasn't aware of you know what i was doing so i ended up staying over and if you're a girl if you're going out do not do this i would not recommend this to anybody do not follow these steps this was a very ignorant choice on my part and i would not do it again i ended up staying over and i fell asleep and in the morning i woke up really early like at five i was like let me take my uber home before i left i was like everybody's asleep and everybody was asleep upstairs in the that little room or whatever and jeremy was still asleep and i was like right now is my time to use the restroom downstairs so i ended up going downstairs and i was like yep it's my time to shine so i ended up letting it out i was like this was not a normal poop it was like blasting off the walls type of poop and it was loud but i was like i'm downstairs so i think i'll be fine it was really loud like because i was just letting it freely and everybody was asleep upstairs so i could get away with it right <sighs> when i walked out that door jeremy was sitting on the couch we had made out on he didn't say anything i just sat next to him and he was like hey do you know what happened last night and i was like we made out he was like no not that i was like i farted he's like yeah i was like let's never talk about this again and he's been a real one and he hasn't said anything since maybe he said it to other people but whenever we hung out after that he never brought it up that's a good friend i actually don't talk to him anymore we hung out a few times after that party or whatever just as friends too like nothing ever happened like that again but we haven't talked in a while i mean maybe i should reach out to him maybe it's on my part and i should do my part and reach out to him maybe i'll text him after this video i hope you guys like that story time and i'll see you on the next video bye